Seems to be a perfect day for some bass fishing. Oh, got him, got him. Before we get started on my trip to Orlando and Halloween Horror Nights, I just wanna give you a quick little update on my boat. Everything is ready to go. I got the jack plate fixed. I've got my trolling motor repaired. I've got the GPS working. All that's left is a new propeller because my prop slipped and we're good to go. Guys, welcome back to another episode of CEO Fishing. I'm here in Orlando, Florida. We're with friends that we met in Croatia and we do this every year because they are completely awesome people. And uh, the last time I came up here, I didn't get the fish. So this time I brought my fishing rod, I got my fishing gear, and I'm gonna try and catch some bass in the lake behind the resort and wherever else I can pull over and stop and fish. So guys, stay tuned, it's gonna be a fun episode. Let me show you what we got over here. I'm gonna walk that lake and uh, try to get some bass. So we kicked things off at Halloween Horror Nights. You know, we went through all the haunted houses. We went on a bunch of the rides and it was a really good time. I really enjoyed walking through the scare zones where they had monsters jumping out trying to scare people. They had The Exorcist, Stranger Things, The Last of Us, and they were all fun. And this was from the Chucky entrance where we had to walk through and uh, Chucky was out there murking some people. <laughs> I didn't even bother trying to film at Epcot because it was a uh, food and wine festival. All we did was start in Mexico, starting with tequila, and we worked our way around all the countries. So we were drinking and eating the whole time, and you know what? I just didn't feel like busting the camera out. But now it's time to go fishing behind the hotel, and there was some good action. I already passed the first hurdle. We weren't sure if we were allowed to fish in this, in this lake. The sign only says don't go close to the water and uh, don't get, basically don't get eaten by an alligator because we are in Florida, but I'm used to it. So I'm not too worried about that part. I'm just worried about catching a fish. Set the hook, gosh darn it. Dude, that was the first cast. First cast. I'm on. I am on. I am on. I am off. I am off. Uh, I might have to hop this fence here. Uh, uh, there we go. Much better. She doesn't want to get kicked out, but I want to catch fish, so. They're not going to. Oh, first cat right there. Nice. Nice. I like this. All right, thank you, buddy. Yeah. So they are smacking this lure today. That's two back to back. There was another one right there. Let me see if I can tilt this down a little so you can see the water better. I'm just kind of casting along the edge here, a few feet off the bank. Oh, someone just blew up over to the left. It's like 70 degrees, maybe 69 degrees, but Seems to be a perfect day for some bass fishing. All right, no biting three casts. That means we're walking. I'm gonna cast out to this corner here. Oh, got him, got him. Another one. Got another one. Yeah, baby. Yeah. Medium to slow retrieval, only a little bit of action. I'm letting the tail do all the work on the uh, swim bait, so it's pretty easy. 
I know there's gotta be one donkey in here somewhere. One lunker is all I need. Got another one. Another little dinky, but it's a good fish. How you doing? Let him go. All right, so I've landed a few, I've lost a few. Like I said, we're just working our way around this lake. We're staying in the, uh, these two towers back here. But uh, you know me, I always gotta try and be outside and catch a fish. Oh, fishing again. Dang. I gotta start giving these monsters hooks in. Gotta do some AD bassing up next or something. That's it. Another one. Oh, I'm getting wet. Yeah. So the spray from that uh, fountain out there is blowing straight across. Like I said, it's for us. We're we're from, I'm from Miami, so anything below 75 is kind of cold. And like I said, it's only like 70 degrees right now, and the mist from that thing was blowing straight on us. He doesn't speak for everyone from Miami because that's not cold. It's true, guys. Don't listen to anything my wife tells you. Unless she says I'm good in bed. Holy shit, it's blowing this way too. Nope. Bingo. This must be where the big fish are. Big fish. The last one, it's a bigger one. Boy, there they are. Another large one. After a fun weekend of haunted houses at Halloween Horror Nights and drinking too much at Epcot, it's time to head back home. And what people don't realize is this is what Florida is. Florida is country. Florida is hunting and fishing. Florida is farming. Florida is the Everglades. Florida is not just beaches and big city life. But I see water, and that means it's time to fish. Poor baby. Not even a week old. Look at this. Saw fish over here? All right, so we're literally cutting down the middle of Florida, heading back to Miami, and some areas that I've actually never been to before. And it looks like a nice spot to uh, wet some lines. So I'm gonna cast out a few times and see if I can get a fish and not eaten by an alligator. Nice and slow. Cheese corn, cheese. See the bird? Oh, Gar. But well, he just spit the hook. You ain't catching anything anyway, so I'm gonna go find me a gator. I'm gonna go find me a gator. Wee! Found a gator. So on the trip back, I kind of struck out on the bass. You know, I, I hooked a gar and it came off right at my feet, um, which I got no problem with. They're slimy and stinky anyways. But that's bank fishing. You know, if you don't know exactly where to go and you're just kind of like randomly stopping places, sometimes you catch fish, sometimes you don't. You know, and today I didn't catch any fish. But aside from my wife throwing a little shade on me at the end for not catching any, you know, I hope you guys enjoyed the episode. And if you did, Make sure you hit that subscribe button right there and turn on your notification bell because you don't want to miss any of my upcoming episodes. We do a lot of fishing, traveling, and outdoors things on this channel. So uh, if you're into that or you're into some comedy skits and stuff, you know, make sure you're subscribed with the notifications on. That's it. It's that easy. But until next time, guys, remember, keep your head up, keep moving forward, and tight lines. Zzz.